All right, it's been very busy today. Let's see what kind of issues Rebecca has come up with today. Hi, Jeff. How are you? I heard that thing about what kind of issues I have. It wasn't issues you have, sweetheart. It's issues <laughs> that you've had to deal with today. I, I'm not the only one with issues. Mm -hmm. This poor lady came in today, and around her beautiful water garden, of course, she has rocks, and the rocks are growing green, slimy, hair-like gunk. Algae. Algae. Hair algae. Kind of like my hair used to get in the summertime when I would go swimming as a little girl in chlorine. My hair would turn green. Used to? <laughs> yes. I just kept it green because I married the Grinch and I wanted to match him. Nice. Thank you, dear. <laughs> no, but I felt so sorry for her. She said, okay, she goes out there, the rocks are gunky growing and she gets her real pad and cleans it up and puts in, has a nice little rock and puts it back in the next day the nice little clean rock is all dirty again so i recommended to her the rock and waterfall cleaner that we have that we Perfect. sell in our retail shop so could you possibly inform us about all the scientific benefits of using rock and waterfall and help our poor clients who are getting out there with roller pads certainly <laughs> so can we our customers from um, cleaning their ponds the hard way and let's simplify their lives and help them. Yep, sounds All right. good. Thank you. Okay, Joe, help. We do not want our clients having to go outside and clean their rocks by hand. Yeah. We want to help them and simplify their lives so they can actually enjoy their water garden. Correct. So, That's so we put ponds in for, for right. relaxation and enjoyment. Not to get out there and work at it every day. Oh, that defeats the whole purpose. We want them to have some zen. Correct. And some peace. Correct. <laughs> okay. We'll handle all the crazy. We'll be all the crazy and give them some peace. What do okay, you think about so, that? So the, okay. the problem that you described. Yes. Is somewhat of a common problem with customers. Okay. That they can get at times during the year hair algae on their rocks, on their waterfalls and so on. So it's the areas that are constantly underwater or wet. This can even grow on the rubber liner. It's not just on rocks. So that's a symptom of excess nutrients in the pond, oh. which we've already covered with the beneficial bacteria, the sludge remover. But this product is a nice addition to the whole array that you can do. This is an oxygen-based product and it's a granular, see. It's a white, real fine granular. Okay. And what you do is you sprinkle this where the algae is. So if it's in the pond, say you're, you have your pond and the rocks underwater are covered in this algae. You take this and you just broadcast a sprinkle. It'll sink right onto the algae. Oh. You'll notice that it bubbles a little bit because it's oxygen based. All right. It actually oxidizes the algae which then releases it from the rocks and it floats to the surface and is then caught by the skimmer or you can take a net and skim it off the top. All right. So this is a great product. Now, if it's in your waterfall or anywhere where there's actively running water that would rinse it off, we tell people, turn off your pump and while everything's still wet but no longer running, sprinkle this on the algae. Wait 15 minutes and then plug your pump back in and it'll come off of the rocks. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So if it's around the perimeter of your pond where the rocks are, you can simply sprinkle it, like walk around, sprinkle Correct. it on, turn off your pump, sprinkle it on your waterfall. Correct. If it's in the bottom of your pond, broadcast it. Broadcast it. Okay, so once you do the treatment, um, do you find that one application solves the problem? Or do one a treatment- One application solves the problem they have then. Mm -hmm. But again, algae is a sign of nutrients, so you just have to do your other things in conjunction. You may have to do a second or a third treatment until you get your nutrient problem of the pond under control. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So treat, wait a couple days. Is that Correct. what we're saying? Correct. And then once you treat and you mentioned that it will kind of break away, float mm -hmm. up, it will be going to your skimmer filters. Correct. Should they it just carry on? Or should they what you look to, at their filters and What you want to do them? is, if it floats into your skimmer, mm -hmm. your net and skimmer and your brushes should catch it. All right. So you rinse those out. If you have a mechanical filter, which are filter pads, 
you want to rinse those out also because right. it will clog them up. Your biological portion of your filter, whether you have bio balls or filter floss media or whatever, those you don't want to rinse out because that's where all your beneficial bacteria is. Right, absolutely. So your mechanical parts of your filter that catch debris, mm -hmm. you want to clean. Your biological, you do not want to clean. Yep, makes perfect sense. All right, thank you, sir. And this comes in two sizes. We okay. have it in a two pound and we have it in an eight pound. Right, based on the, your water volume. Water volume, correct. Okay. And two pound goes a really long way. I bet it does. All right, and so does the product, does the package tell the client how to treat the ratio of their pond? The package does. Now, the one thing that I do is mm -hmm. this, because they need a unified way of, on all the products, on how to treat, they do this by water volume. I wouldn't use it that way. I use it as a spot treatment on the problem areas. Sometimes customers will have a pond that all their rocks are perfectly beautiful, but their waterfall has green on it. There's no point in treating the whole water volume, just treat the areas that need it. That makes sense. Okay, and the next question we always that always gets brought up is, is it safe for my fish and my plants? We have not had an issue with this product affecting fish or plants. The only thing I would be careful of is when you broadcast this over the pond, if you get it on your water lily leaves, mm -hmm. just take a hose and hose it off pretty quick so that it doesn't make spots on your leaves. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it's not going to kill your lily no. or your aquatic plants nope. or your And just like babies. anything, if you poured this whole container into a 100-gallon pond with goldfish in it, it will <laughs> probably raise the pH Okay. and affect the goldfish that way okay but if you just use it as i've explained spot treat sprinkle it in there like you're sprinkling fertilizer um you know around your plants just sprinkle it on there and do a spot treat that way you won't have any issues okay perfect thank you come see us at storage for all your water garden needs bye-bye thank you so much bye